Now vote 2023. In 47 days, Jacksonville voters will go to the polls to elect a new mayor. And while there are seven candidates, most of the attention lately has been on two of the Republicans, Leanna Cumber and Daniel Davis. Due in part to their TV commercials, the focus has been on their dealings with the attempted sale of JEA. And now, as we first showed you last night at 6, with the City Council opening investigation of Cumber's role, reaction is pouring in. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett has been reaching out to all the candidates for mayor and others who Cumber has been calling out over this issue. Jim. You know, in this, some are calling this the silly season, the political season. And we are seeing that play out in some of the television ads. But now that we have this situation with Leanna Cumber and the city council getting involved, that's beginning to raise some eyebrows. The TV ads continue, and the allegations of who did what during the attempted sale of JEA goes on. The city council president saying he wants answers to Leanna Cumber's role if she and her husband had any involvement in the attempted sale and why she didn't disclose information when questioned during an earlier investigation by council. That's prompted Cumber to fire back, saying this is all coming down now because of Mayor Lenny Curry, that he wants to see Daniel Davis as mayor, and she believes the mayor's office has pull over the council president. Today, the mayor's office responded to that with this statement. Political campaigns say a lot of things. The mayor has no role in any of these decisions by city council. Cumber didn't stop there. She also criticized current city councilman Aaron Bowman for choosing not to to talk to counsel during the original investigation. Bowman fired back in this written statement today. I'm disgusted that my colleague or their legal representation would attack my character. Unfortunately, politics bring out the worst behavior in people trying to get in positions that they are not well suited. We checked with each candidate for mayor about their reaction to this investigation. Daniel Davis released a statement, which in part says, I am as concerned as anyone over the news reports suggesting that Leanna Cumber and Hussein Cumber, her husband, have not been truthful about their involvement in the JEA scandal. Democrat Donna Deegan also weighed in. Well, political theater aside, uh, I would say that Cumber and Davis are two sides of the same coin when it comes to this issue, both involved in the same sort of backroom dealing. While Democrat Audrey Gibson had no comment, current city council member and candidate for mayor Al Ferraro says it's political. Other important issues are being ignored. Republican Frank Kiesler says this about the investigation. It's long overdue. It's corrupt at its best. And Omega Allen, who's not affiliated with any party, said in a nutshell, if they do not cast a wide net and investigate all council members who met with the former JEA officials, then it's political. Now, that investigation, that's going to take place next Wednesday morning, at least the first meeting at 830 in the morning. We're live on the South Bank, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.